In this lecture, I will discuss about solution monitors and how to change their properties. After that, I will discuss about editing the file in the CFX solver during run or when it is stopped. And then I will tell you that how you can restart the solution from the stopped case and the files which are saved on the your directory. So first we will go through the how to change the properties of the solution monitor. When you start to solve the case, the solution progress will be displayed in two ways. The one is numbers and text which is on the right side of the CFX solver. On this topic we will discuss in the coming lecture on the understanding convergence. On the left side of CFX solver, solution progress is displayed in the form of the graph for the convergence of the residual plots for different variables such as mass, momentum and there are three components of the momentum equation U, V and W. These are the components of the momentum equation in the x, y and z direction respectively. And also we can have the monitors for the energy and turbulence if we are solving the temperature field and the turbulence. And because in our case we are not solving the energy equation or the turbulence that's why these will be not there in the our case. And also there may be any other variable of interest you want to monitor. As you can see in this slide, there is an upper and lower limit for the residual plot. As you can see here, we have the upper limit as a 1 and the lower limit is 10 power minus 12 in this slide. And uh, usually we are not concerned with the upper limit because when the solution is converging, these monitor plots will go down. By default, the lower bound or the lower limit is set at the 10 power minus 6 here. So if the monitor plots go below this level, it will not be visible on the screen, on this graphics window. In order to change lower bound, right click in the this graphics window anywhere and choose the monitor properties from the right click menu here. In the monitor properties dialog box, select monitor properties, select the range settings and change lower bound to the 10 to the power minus 8 or minus 12 as you want to have so that the the, this graph should be within the this graphics window. Also, if you uncheck the box for the set manual scale, the limit for the residual plot will automatically adjust it according to the how solution is converging. So, it will automatically adjust the, this scale and in such a way that the, this monitor will be inside all the time. Now, let me show you in the CFX solver. I will define a new run and I will keep the default settings. Now click on the start run to start the solution. Now let the solution begin and it will show you the some starting messages and after that the solution will begin to iterate. Now right click on the graphics window anywhere and then click on the monitor properties. From here click on the range settings and change the lower bound to the minus 8 or minus 10 as needed. As can you see that the with the minus, 10, minus 8 power this all the monitors are inside the this graphics window. You can also try minus 10 if needed. 1 to the power minus 10. So 1 e minus 10. So if the these plots were below the 10 power minus minus 8 scale, then changing this value to 10 power minus 10 
will make the these graphs within the this graphics window you can also click on the set manual scale if you uncheck this box this will automatically adjust the scale as the solution will progress so it will automatically adjust the, this uh, lower and upper bound depending on the how the solution is converging if the any value any any monitor goes down this will automatically change the scale according to the this monitor 